In the last video, I shared my top two theme recommendations, Cadence and Astra. And we talked about how both of these themes have extensive libraries of starter templates that you can import very easily so you don't have to build an entire website from scratch. In this video, I wanna show you what the process actually looks like for importing those starter templates. Now, as we move forward, I'm gonna be using the Cadence theme, but I do wanna show you what this looks like in Astra as well. So I've got a separate demo site loaded up here, and I'm gonna go ahead and install the Astra theme, which is right here. And then once that's installed, I'm gonna activate it. Once it's activated, you should be prompted to get started with the starter templates. But if you don't see that, you can go over to Astra Options and you should see this little widget here on the side where you can choose to install the importer plugin. So we'll go ahead and do that. Install importer plugin and it will activate the plugin for you. You'll have a little bit of an intro video here which you can watch, of course and we'll click build your website now. Here you can select your page builder. I know we haven't really talked about page builders, but Elementor and Beaver Builder are plugins you can install to enable uh, certain visual page building features. Personally, I prefer to stick with the default block editor. And from here, you can do a search or you can just scroll through all the various starter templates and find one that you like. Uh, let's go ahead and do this freelance copywriter template. So here you could upload your logo if you wanted to. Uh, we don't have a logo at the moment, so I'm gonna skip and continue. You can change the color palette for this starter template. And you can see just how easy this is to create something unique because all of these are based on the same template, but they have a slightly different look. So I'm just gonna stick with, we'll go with this one. You can change the fonts as well. They have different font pairings that they've determined go well together. And on this page, you can leave everything as is and click submit and build my website. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna install some plugins that are required for this particular template. It's going to import your content, your uh, menus, posts, pages, widgets. All of this stuff is gonna be imported from the starter template to your website, along with the actual theme settings and things like that. So here we've just finished our import. Uh, it took just 22 seconds to build. That's a cool little stat there and we can click view your website. So just like that, we've gone from a blank WordPress installation to what will soon be a complete website. All we have to do from here is go in and edit this content. And uh, of course we can make some changes to the theme settings, but yeah, I mean, this is a really nice looking website and it took us again, 22 seconds to install. So that is how you import a starter template with the Astra theme. Now, as I mentioned, I am actually gonna use the Cadence theme as we move forward. So let's take a look at that process. So I'll hop back over to my main demo site here, Brad's test site, and I'm gonna to go to the appearance menu and activate Cadence. And from here, just like Astra, you should see a prompt asking you to install Cadence starter templates. Alternatively, you can go over to the Cadence menu under Appearance and go to the Starter Templates tab. So click Install Cadence Starter Templates. And from here, just like Astra, you're gonna see this list of starter templates that you can use. Some of these are gonna be for the pro version of the theme. So if you want to just see the free ones, you can filter by free only. And at this point, you can just choose a theme that you think would work for your website. I'm gonna go with this one. And this is gonna look very similar to the process we just followed. There are different color scheme options.
I think I'm going to go with this one. And then you can change the font family as well. You can see how similar this process is between these two themes. So I kind of like that one. Now you'll notice we have two required plugins here. These are going to be installed when we go ahead and import this demo. And then under import options, we can choose single page or full site. So if you just want the home page to be imported, you can choose single page. But if you want these other pages on the site as well, like the about us page, uh, maybe they have a contact page, you can import the full site and you'll get all those additional pages. So I'm going to go ahead and do full site. And at this point, I am going to skip this, skip, start importing, and the import will begin. So we're installing the required plugins, importing the content. This may take a few minutes, so just sit tight and let the import process run. Okay, now our import has completed and we can view our site. So here we are. And once again, a beautiful, well-designed website in just a couple of clicks. So from here, all we have to do is go in and uh, maybe edit some settings, edit the content itself, and we've got a great website.